I wanted to get out there and actually address some things, topics that's been in the sports media. Kind of been paying attention more uh, to football because football is a little bit more interesting. Uh, my Packers, it doesn't sting. It really doesn't. I always know that this season I already predicted they'll be 9-8. and eight, And they'll get to a playoff game and probably lose. But they went on and exceed expectations and went to a divisional round and almost beat the 49ers. So I'm not that bad. It doesn't sting that much. But um, the last few days, oh my goodness. Not the vid, but I had the flu. And that flu, usually I can get over being sick within like, let's say a day or a day and a half. But this flu that I had, I'm still trying to recover from it, put me on my ass so hard. It's not even funny. Because usually I'll be trying to strength through the sickness. Nope, not this time. I think I think the Lord was saying, not this time, buddy. You know, sit down and rest because I think it was yeah, it was last week. Last week, kind of had a cold, but I guess it never went away and it just materialized and got even worse uh, towards the end of the weekend. So I'm still recovering from that. If you guys are probably testing all snotty and everything, but um, I just wanted to rest. I wasn't gonna try to put out no videos. I didn't have no energy to put out videos at all. Where I mean, no energy. I be no energy. The only thing I wanted to do was just. Sit here and watch TV, go to the bathroom, drink, and that's it. I barely wanted to eat. So I'm still recovering from that. But I don't feel like talking uh talking a guy's head off too much. But this whole KD thing, he he wants to consider himself to be in a co- uh GOAT conversation. And I know as many people, brothers on the YouTube space, I already addressed that. Um some of you might already know how I feel about KD. As a player, individual player, uh, he's great. I'm not even going to lie. And I've been saying this as long as I've been on YouTube. He's a great player. Uh, Top 75. Definitely a Hall of Famer. But what disqualifies him is the same thing that disqualifies LeBron in the GOAT conversation, in my opinion. For some reason... When I say my opinion, that just gets ignored. And you just get the LeBron fans or the stands all in their feelings. But I don't care. So I'm going to address them probably tomorrow or something like that. So I got a video off for them. But Katie has just done too much shifting and moving around for me to even consider to be in that conversation. I'm not going to count his OKC days. No, can't. Because OKC was built through the draft. Now, after you, and I watched all 70 of these games, after you decided to choke game six and game seven, you decided to run your butt. He decided to run his butt to go to state, or I should say Oakland, San Francisco, whatever. He ran himself up there to go join a team that was already we was six, 73 and nine the year before. They really didn't need him. He joins that team because he think it would be easier. Hence the easy way. And then when that comes crumbling down uh, in 2019, when Draymond Green rushed his ass out of there, he decided to join Kyrie in Brooklyn and create another super team with him, James Harden, uh, Blake Griffin, and older LaMarcus Aldridge. And we all know how that went. Lost in seven games to the Bucks, And... Not to repeat what others have said when they come to talk about this uh, topic, but I remember this is around the same time I got on YouTube as far as this channel. And I heard hey, KD's foot is on line. He would have won. Uh, uh, Giannis, heard, Giannis heard Kyrie. You heard all that. All right. Whatever. What about the next year after that? When they got swept. Got a mud hole stopped in them by the Boston Celtics. The same Boston Celtics that the same Milwaukee Bucks went seven games in the next round that year. And then KD decides to waddle himself to Brooklyn a year and a half later. Now, out of Brooklyn, a year and a half later, go to the Phoenix Suns. Creates another super team with Devin Booker, Chris Paul. They get rid of Chris Paul. You get 
uh, Bradley Beal. And now this is what we got now. I can't consider somebody moving like that to be in a GOAT conversation. Somebody who never really put the team on his back and said, F all this, I'm going to lead this team to a victory, no matter who I got on my team. Katie has never did that. When the tough gets tough, he bails. That is his legacy. That will be his legacy. I don't care how his... His minions fail. I don't care how he feels. He can get on social media, Twitter. I'm not even on Twitter. But he can get anywhere and cry and all that. It's the truth. It's the truth. So, yeah. He, he can't be in that conversation. I'm sorry. There's other people that need to be in that conversation before he is. Before he does not me. But like I say, he's a very good player. I'm not even going to lie. But. Can't. He's efficient. Uh, he's a very efficient offensive scorer. But defense, he has his moments, but he ain't never been on a defensive player list, team list, has he? And during his Golden State days, I don't think he was. So, anyways, that's how my thoughts about. It. I feel like I may already made this video already. I've said this before. He's not a leader. Very good player. He's not a leader. Jumped to too many teams for me, for many others that think like me, or think the same way I do about the situation. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.